trying to go natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm happy to be doing a little demo and review of Bakura Beauty. So I have done it before on my channel, but I didn't show many products and it was a really long time ago. So I'm glad to be bringing it back to you. What I remember about Bakura Beauty products is that they work really well and that they're really expensive. Well, for me. <laughs> So like something like $18 for the leave-in and $24, $25 for the teensy weensy deep conditioners. My hair is in need so I figure why not give it that little yam nectar treatment because I remember the yam nectar treatment being really moisturizing. I remember loving the honey latte. So let's see if things are the same, like what is it, maybe three years later, I don't know how many every year, two, at least two years later. Let's see if things are the same. My scalp just started talking to me, so it's not as dirty as it could possibly be, but it is dirty. So I have a clarifier and I have this froth. So I said, okay, I'm going to go with this fatty coconut cleansing hair froth because I do feel like I need a shampoo. But I don't necessarily want to strip my hair because my hair was pretty dry last time. So I'm going to start with the shampoo. Can't wait to do that. Let's go. So it definitely comes out as kind of rich and creamy. It looks like a shampoo shampoo, like you know those old dark and lovelies. Kind of like I see some kind of silky looking look running through it. But let's see how it goes on. Okay, yes, yes, it's doing the thing. I feel that immediate contact foam has a slightly kind of minty scent. My scalp is still kind of talking to me. So I'm gonna rinse it out and then let you know what I think about it overall. Okay, so I guess the moral of the story is if your scalp is dirty, just go for the stronger shampoo. Because I was like breaking from the stronger shampoo because my hair is kind of dry this week, but now my hair is dry, uh, obviously, since I just shampooed. I mean, it still feels pretty soft. It's not like super dry out from the shampoo, but it was just dry before. So I can feel that my hair feels soft, it doesn't feel squeaky. So I would say the shampoo is probably a bit moisturizing. My hair just wasn't in the right state for this level of shampoo. Like I like I told you, I have levels of shampoo and I try to be cute. <laughs> I don't really like to repeat the same shampoo just because if it didn't get me the first time, trust this you, I'm not gonna use three shampoos. I'm gonna reach for my new Inasi HG, which set me up really good last time, and I'm gonna, just gonna shampoo again with that, and then we'll get to the deep conditioner. So the mint, I think, will help my scalp to shut up, and this left my hair really moisturized last time. And I really can't start the week if my scalp isn't right. Because who knows when I'm going to wash again, basically, to be honest. So I'm just going to use some of this and get me together. Okay. So I'm done rinsing the nasty. My hair feels a lot better. My scalp feels a lot better. My hair feels a lot softer. You can probably see that the strands are less bunched together, like more moisturized and definitely softer to the touch. So thank you, nasty, for straightening me out. And now we'll get to get back to a regularly scheduled program with the Yam Nectar. Okay, so this is the Yam Nectar, basically a honey treatment. And basically it is honey. <laughs> like honey is the first ingredient and then like we have like some other like, you know, regular stuff in there. But, ooh. Yeah. But basically it kind of, you know, it's very honey-ish. So I'm gonna start putting in this. I remember just loving it, so I'm just like looking forward to it. Wiping the lid, cause we're not what not. <laughs> okay. So it looks like super thick and scary, but do not be alarmed. I think as soon as it touches your hair, it kind of just melts in. So just put it on the top, or however you apply it, and just work it in. Don't be alarmed. So I'll admit I'm a little bit nervous for slip, but I'm going to assume it has good slip, I don't know. Safe to say I'm going to go to at least probably half before I even try to work it in, just because I'm actually scared to work it in, I'm going to keep it real. The thing about repurchasing something after a long time is often the ingredients change, so even though you liked it, you're never like 100% sure of what the situation will be when you try it again. So that's me right now, waiting to love it, I'll be honest. You know like when you were sore? <laughs> Those of you who go to the gym when you're sore, you like your body just doesn't want to get up from the couch after leg day. Like it doesn't like it's not even hurting at the time, and it just doesn't want to. You just don't want to do it because <laughs> I guess your body knows it's gonna hurt if you try to get up. I feel like that's how this is doing me in terms of do I want to put my hands through it. That's why you just see me kind of going around it. <laughs> 
So I am, I guess, eventually gonna have to get in there, but I'm a little nervous. It is kind of melting in, I'll give it that. But in terms of slip, I'm not feeling it just going over, so I don't know about going in or through. Not all, but I think this is at least three quarter of it. Okay, well, yeah, no slip. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to at least somewhat get through here. So I'm still kind of trying to at least get my fingers in somewhat to make sure all my strands get. But in terms of slip, no. <laughs> Not in the building. Absent. I mean, it's not like horrible, like making it worse, but it's not adding slip. I know, I know I love the leave in. So, so far, eh, but the leave in's gonna come through. <laughs> I hope you guys like this kind of live feedback because it's like as I'm trying it, I'm reviewing kind of thing. It gets a little bit. scary sometimes as the person going through it but okay it's actually starting to get a little better in terms of being able to work it through like my hair is just relaxing a bit I guess as the moisture gets in so it is getting a bit better than when I just started trying to work it in I'm wondering if I should like <laughs> deep condition over it that would be so weird like I shampooed after the shampoo should I deep condition after this and then which conditioner am I going to pull to save me? <laughs> so I really don't want to have a dry wash day. My last wash day is kind of dry. Okay, so this is it before letting it sit. Um, my hair isn't... It hasn't really penetrated or transformed my hair yet into that post-deep condition feeling. So at best it's not instant. So we'll see where it is in after 30 minutes of sitting. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back after letting it sit. How do I feel about it? It does feel soft. The slip still isn't there. Like, it doesn't feel magical. Like, how, like, when I use a deep conditioner, I come back all smiling. I'm coming back like, eh, it does feel somewhat soft, somewhat moisturized, but it's not transformed. <laughs> so, I don't think I will repurchase this. I think this was my favorite um, kind of mask or treatment of all the ones that they had, like at least the chocolate, whatever, and the vanilla whiskey hair silk one. Other than the hair milk, I don't think um, <laughs> I don't think I need to really repurchase Bakura. It's funny how you come back to things and like <laughs> oh, it's like not what you thought, not what it used to be. All right, so this is it. Um, my hair does feel soft, but it doesn't really feel moisturized, so... <sighs> I mean, it doesn't feel dry, but it doesn't feel as moisturized as I would like. You know, usually I come on like, sat for 30 minutes, yay, yeah, I feel it so good. Now I'm like, eh. But it's not quite dry enough for me to put something else over it, so I think I will leave it like this. And next week I'll definitely be using She Sent It, because I need to get some moisture. This is my second kind of wash day fail. So, yeah, in a row, so not good. Hopefully the leave-in will get me settled. Um, we'll see. And now for the surprise, I didn't want to tell you guys before because I was like still like just in case I want to chicken out. I still don't know how to do this, but I want to do, I, I think I'm going to do a bantu nut out. <laughs> so I've never done one. So I did get go and get the old version of the Tonga Mousse because I already have 99 problems. And I really wanted to use the one with a little bit of hole. I did think about taking one for the team and using this one since this is the new one that you guys will probably get. But, yeah. I'm gonna use the one that has like at least some gum and some hydroxylectyl cellulose. And uh, I'm gonna try to at least start it from the shower since like I said, I don't like to switch back and forth. I really would prefer to do it outside, but since I wanted to show you the wash day, I'm in here. So I'm gonna try to do a couple bantu nuts in here without even having a decent mirror. So y'all can imagine, but we're doing this. <laughs> so I split my hair into four sections, this one, and then two in the back and this one so I'm gonna just moisturize this and then maybe do a couple back to nuts to show you guys and then show you the ending all right YouTube magic is gonna happen because I'm just gonna stand here and do this whole thing in the shower 
getting into the honey latte here milk and if I don't love this just just toss your phone away <laughs> your laptop right now because the whole wash day is over but like this one was my favorite or you know one of my favorites so hopefully I still love it give me some feels really soft and nice going on on my hands I mean and on my hair so I'm liking it has a light sweet scent it's not super runny or super thick Really light. Okay, I'll go to slip again. Let me see. Um, I would say the slip is just okay, but I do think the definition seems to be coming along. So I'll say the definition is still good, but since trying this, I've tried a lot of things with really good slips. So the slip isn't bad, but it is just okay. It's not like actual extra slip, it's just going through my hair fine. It is still giving me that lightness and that definition that I remember liking, so, so I'm happy about that. Slip could be better, moisture is great and definition is great. My hair feels good, like, finally. How much is a relief, but the slip could be better. What do you got here in terms of definition? I like it. I like how light makes my hair. It just goes <laughs> but still has definition. I would say I feel like I don't know, I feel like they use a lot, but I don't know. I guess because it's not a middle part, maybe. I don't know. But I don't say I use a lot, but I feel like I use more than I usually do. It's hard to tell because it's not see-through. But anyway. Okay, moving on to the top of your opulent hair care mousse thingy. Curious about this. Ooh. Looks like a nice whipped consistency. I haven't put my fingers in yet. Mm. Has a nice light sweet scent. A little more candyish, I guess, than the hair milk, which was a little more just kind of milkish, honeyish. I can kind of feel like a little bit of that hydroxylethyl cellulose with a little bit of hold, which I wanted. I guess once you. Once you try a styling cream at all, you can't really go back. <laughs> but yes, I put it on, I can feel like it's doing a little bit of clumping and stuff. Just a tad, but just enough. The cream has a little slip, but still the slip feels just okay um, overall. Okay, this is with the cream. I do feel like it's debulked a bit, like a little more clumped, so I do think it has a bit of definition. So now <laughs> to try the matte nuts. <laughs> cream is cute though, right? Like the definition between the leave-in and the cream, I'm back with it. I'm liking a nice little light gel we would have been washing and going right there. <laughs> but instead of deciding to do a nice simple wash and go, I had to get quarantine crazy and decide to do the matte nuts. So let's keep going. quarantine would turn my channel into a hair styling channel. I never would have thought. Okay. So I think just roll it around like this. And then <laughs> before you really get all the way down you start doing this. And if I roll too much or what then. Mm. Okay. I don't know if I'm still rolling the right direction, I guess I am. Oh okay. I don't know, hope that stays because yeah, but let me say that's one. I will say that kinda wasn't too bad. <laughs> It's kind of easier than braiding and twisting, right? I guess. I'm kind of getting excited. Like, if this is a success, I'll be so happy. I saw on YouTube that you shouldn't twist all the way down before you start bound to nothing, but trying to bound to and twist is also a little challenging. I think I don't want to twist as much as I did last night. 
I don't know, because I want to just be able to roll wrap the ends like that. Alright. Two. <laughs> okay. So this is so far. Excited, excited. I'll do the rest and come back dry and warm. And just kind of step into the bathroom to show you the rest. When I finish the other sections. Okay, this is it. Too long later, probably an hour and a half, but I'm finished. Whoa. <laughs> I, this is the first time I'm seeing myself like this, tiny bums, like uh, the Jamaicans call it, I guess. So, but yeah, I guess I'll leave it in two days. I'll try to. I do have a hooded dryer, but I don't, I don't really want to use it, but I might have to use it. Because I know for sure my hair isn't going to dry tomorrow. And I'm not even sure if it's going to dry up natural causes. <laughs> so, yeah. I do think I'll get a good result. I'm looking forward to taking it down. But we'll see. I'm excited. I'm so glad you guys are sharing this journey and this experience with me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'll see you when I take it down. <laughs> so I'm back. <laughs> I'm actually back after like four days, I think. So yeah, it was actually even starting to get kind of ratty. So I was like, let me just come on and do this. The first night I had it in, it was super uncomfortable. I had a headache. My It was pulling. I was like, as soon as I wake up, I'm taking this out, bleed this and everything. Then I got busy. And then by the second day, I didn't even feel it anymore. And then the third night and everything. So that's my story on this. And as ratty as it's kind of looking, I think it still has the potential to keep better than like twists and braids, which were my old, well braids at least were my old kind of forget about it style. Because honestly, I don't, I don't want to take this out. I like, not like I like it, but I like my hair staying kind of together, hopefully moisturized under there. And it's feeling comfortable now, possibly because I didn't put that many in the back. So the back is kind of already kind of loose, loose loosening out. So that could be why. <laughs> So that could be why, but like, yeah, I'm loving this. But I wanted to show you guys that I wouldn't be a good YouTuber if I waited forever to do, take my hairstyles out. But this could be a new protective style for me. So yeah, I'm excited to take it down, but I kind of wish I didn't have to. Oiling up my hands, you know, the drill. I'm, I'm take, doing the takedown. I'm nervous, y'all. <laughs> okay, that came down super easy. What do you do? Do you just do this? Like, I have no idea. I should have like, Read what to do in the takedown. I think people just separate, right? From ooh, it feels nice, kind of silky. <laughs> the back is usually the I don't care bit, but it actually feels so nice coming down. I really like this hairstyle because it was easy to put in, easy to take down. The only um, negative so far is that I look completely crazy in the grocery, my weekly grocery trip, because it's kind of lumpy and <laughs> even though I put a beanie over it, maybe I shouldn't have even put a beanie over it, but I don't know. With the beanie over it, the beanie was just looking lumpy and crazy. Ooh, I'm messing this up. But other than that, and I don't even care really, um, I just tell myself, don't think about it, and then whoop, disappears. <laughs> but other than that, um, and other than the first night, which was torture, um, yeah, it seems like it's all win other than that. But basically, I'm kind of twirling it the other way from the way I knew I twirl it until it releases itself. It's so like smooth, silky. <laughs> I guess that's the style and not the products, I guess. I don't know. The ends are kind of ratty because I just, I didn't too long to the ends. I kind of wound the ends around. But yeah, I'm kind of liking the definition, the moisture, shine. It still feels moisturized. My hair feels wonderful. Most of it does. This is how it looks. <laughs> Coming down. After the one separation, <laughs> all right. No <laughs> time to make magic. Guess I'm just gonna go to town separating it, and then since it's been a few days, I'll put some hairpins in it. Y'all know I'm not any kind of stylist, so as far as I'm concerned, we already done this demo in terms of just showing you the definition at the end and. Telling you about the moisture at the end and stuff. That that was the that, that was that was the demo. The rest of this is just me trying it, uh, practicing, experimenting. I don't know. I guess it's gonna stay super curly like this, like sh shrinkagey curly. I guess. Okay. So this side was kind of trying to be a fail, but let's focus on this side. Let's pretend this side was the result. 
is this side kind of promising, you know? In a kind of um, five years old, baby cute kind of way, <laughs> maybe. So yeah, I do like this side. What can I say about it? It got super short, which I guess is to be expected, but it did get super short. Um, but I do like the curls and I do think it's cute. And I'm getting practice. And I think somebody with more styling pizzazz could have made something better out of this, but you know, I think it has potential. I wouldn't mind doing this again. Don't know if you ever want to see it again. But again, like I said, the main point is the products did give me decent moisture, nice definition, and overall I got a cute result, even if I am I separating me. And this definitely requires separating to be a hairstyle. So, yeah. But it will be seeing me again as a protective hairstyle, I think, for sure. Like this has a lot of like life, like a lot of volume. It's super light, just like the leave-in, I guess. Just like the products in general, I would say. So if you're looking for a light, kind of almost feels like nothing is on there, but it's moisturized result, I guess this would be a good product combination for that. Okay, this is my result. I do think the curls are cute. Definitely a lot of shrinkage, but I think this hairstyle will be seeing me again. What do you think? <laughs> is it doing? I don't know. I like it. I don't know what it's looking like on camera, that's so why I keep looking on the camera, but this is it. At least this is what I can make out of it. <laughs> and I do like it. Okay, let me get to finishing the review. So I think everything that I said during wash day still holds true. But I'll show you the ingredients and stuff, stuff, stuff. So let's start with the fatty coconut cleansing hair froth. So for me, this wash day, I needed cleansing, I needed moisturizing. This wasn't quite there on either count. So my hair wasn't feeling super moisturized and my hair wasn't feeling super cleansed. Would I use it again? Yes, but kind of more, as I said, in a sense, it's a co-wash. I don't think I would expect a happy result from it. I don't know if I would maybe mix it with something or what. We'll have to figure out how I'm gonna use this. But it wasn't that bad either. But it wasn't that good. Yeah, like it's not bad enough that I wouldn't just finish it off, but it's not good enough that I would be like, I'd enjoy my result, let me put it that way. So these are the ingredients. The ingredients definitely read shampoo, so I, it was even more moisturizing than my worst case hair. So I'm happy about that. Water and cocoa betaine and then that um, cocoa lysithionate, which I, I'm guessing is another surfactant. It does have a polyquat high up, and you know me and polyquats on my hair. So that could have been the reason why this went south. I just avoid all polyquats. And polyquats in my cleansers in particular don't really work for me, like the Camille Rose Ginger Cleanse. But my hair was a little bit cleansed, a little bit moisturized, but not all the way. And then when I shampooed again with the Nasty Soothing Mint um, Sulfate Free Gentle Cleansing Shampoo, this one, my hair was actually both cleaner and more moisturized. So yeah, I don't know what you want to say about that, but that was that for this. And this isn't the strongest, like I didn't use the clarifying shampoo. Maybe the clarifying shampoo would have at least cleansed. This just left me without a foot in either boat, basically. So then I moved on to the Yam Nectar, and I was saying I did love the Yam Nectar originally. I did use most of it. It is a honey consistency and scent. It gave me moisture, but not enough to recover from my week and from the situation. So it wasn't like super moisturizing enough. It wasn't really softening. Like it didn't give me deep conditioner feeling. It just gave me a bit of moisture and also left me feeling a little under par. Both of them were about just as much under par, but I just refused to start the week with dirty hair because I just can't do it. I don't know, like my wash days are so unpredictable. When I do wash, if nothing else, my scalp has to get clean. So I was willing to like sacrifice on a little bit less moisture than I needed after the deep conditioner, but I wasn't willing to, to sacrifice on less clean after the cleanse. So that's not say it's a deep conditioner, but when I used this the first time, my hair was, um, my hair felt really hydrated. This time when I used it, it wasn't really hydrated and like it was moisturized, but it wasn't super hydrated and there was no slip, so yeah. So back then I was doing like clear treatments, all kind of treatments. Now I'm washing my hair like maybe every two weeks and no treatments. So my hair is probably more low porosity than it used to be. And even though this was moisturizing, it just didn't hit heaven for me. It didn't have anything that heavy and it had enough moisture, I would say. I don't know what went wrong on this. The Honey Latte Hair Milk, which is my one... What is past and future love? Like it's my one 
product that I used to enjoy and I still enjoy. I hadn't tried a hair product before. I liked the Yam Natu before and I was underwhelmed this time. But I liked the Honey Latte before. I loved it. It was up on HD and I still like it. So I would say that I probably, like I still like it and it's still unique because it just gave my hair such light moisture. Like my hair is just like floating up in the sky when I use this and I love that. So I would repurchase it just for that. But in terms of like moisture, it wasn't super duper moisturizing. It was moisturizing, but after a failed deep conditioner, it wasn't like super duper moisturizing. So I would repurchase this, but more so for the lightness and volume and air and definition than for the moisture or slip. I guess the slip was okay, better than the latte and the, the froth, I guess. But it wasn't as good as like some of the, my current issues. Like again, like the nasty leave and I would prefer and the Sultan I could slip and slide not proof here glide I would prefer. But this I would always buy just because some days you just wanna float. Float on, float on. Some days you just wanna float. Some days you just want super light hair and I love super light hair so I would buy it just for that. So last but not least we have the Tonga Most Opulent Hair Cream. And like I said, this is the old one. Let me show you the ingredients. So I decided to roll back for the old one when I saw that the new one didn't have like any hydroxylethyl cellulose or carbom or any kind of hold ingredient. And I just wasn't feeling to suffer that much. So this one has, has hydroxylethyl cellulose near the bottom. And it did have some Senegal gum, which I don't know. I'm assuming it is a gum and it has some Irish moss. So it does have a bit of like whole ingredient there. Now I looked at the new one, it does have the Irish moss, but I didn't see the hydroxylethyl cellulose. I didn't see any gum. So I was like, this probably has less hole than the old one. I wasn't trying to risk it all, so yeah. But I did enjoy this as well. So I would say it's a solid thick cream, not thick, but solid enough cream. Like you can see that it's kind of solid enough. And it did give me nice moisture and nice hold. I don't think again it was like the best thing I ever tried, but I would use this, I would use the leave-in and this mousse again happily enough. And like I said, I do like the light feeling that I have right now. My hair feels moisturized and light, and I do like that. So I would use these again. I don't think I would necessarily repurchase the mousse, but I don't know. Like if the mousse is the only way to hold on to the lightness of the leave-in, then maybe, because I can't think of any other creams that do give you moisture and hold and also lightness. So all those fine hair people who like light products definitely would recommend these two. And I'm not fine hair but I like the little light product um, thing now and then. I would use these two until I found something more moisturizing that was just as light. This is the lightest leave-in that I know of. Lightest moisturizing leave-in that I know of and this is the lightest moisturizing holding cream that I know of. And of course this being the old version because I haven't tried the new one. So that's it. This is my hair, Bantu Nut. I'm living on the wild side, doing it, doing it, trying thing, YouTube thing. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So that's it. That's Bakura for you. I definitely was more impressed with this line before. Now, given the prices and the underwhelmingness of it, compared to the hundred things I tried since the last time I tried it, I can't really rate it as much. But if there's a good sale, I will pick up the latte for sure. As for the mousse, I will try the new one and let you guys know. Because I can't really rank it based on the old one. I have more Bakura to try. So I'm definitely going to do another Bakura wash day. So look out for that. So that was it. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Questions, comments down below. Always welcome. Let's chat in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.